back at you once again with the Synquaser Lenaro Gigabyte Enterprise Edition 96 boards developer box. And up until now, we have already unboxed the developer box. We have put the put the box together. So yeah. Hodge went through a nice uh, uh, kind of assembly process of getting the board, uh, getting the box put together. And now we are going to boot it up for the first time. Yeah. So. Initially, we'll just uh, see what the bias looks like and walk through it and then we can do something cool. Uh, so to get into the bias, you do need a keyboard. So I have my keyboard and I'll plug that in. Um, and then I'll just have the power cable and plug that in as well. And you should see the screen come up in a second. And the lights should be on and as soon as the lights on, the screen so you plugged it in, but there's like a, there's a power button on the front too, right? That's more of a reset button. Okay. Reset button. So that's the uh, boot splash for the bias. 96 boards, Lenaro, Synquaser, Associate Next. And you can press escape to go into the UEFI bias. Um, a ton of options here. Uh, you can go to the device manager and you know configure a whole lot of things. Network device list, cons console preferences for the UEFI, RAM disk and driver health and something that's specific to the uh, Synquaser platform it does have an onboard EMFC so if you want to boot it from there or the hard drive or the ex any external drive that's just fine. You know how big the EMFC is? No. Okay. Well I mean still basically yeah. I mean you could flash it with whatever operating system you wanted right? Yeah. Yeah I think it's 32 gigs but you know we can look into it. And um, you can go into the boot manager and what we'll do in a sec is to actually boot something from the uh, USB um, and then there is some boot maintenance manager. Uh, boot options you might want to select driver options, uh, you might, might want to add uh, other stuff like that. So what we'll do is I have gone ahead into the uh, Fedora's ARM64 download page, download a generic ARM64 build. ISO. So this this is not like our other boards where we have a specific uh, build for most of our Debian or Linaro builds. This is very much a generic build and it works out of the box. So this is, I have my SD card on the card reader. Oh, I want to add and, something here yeah. real quick. I want to add something. It, it is actually very cool, right? Because we literally just unboxed this board and we went to the, the Fedora. Bios, yeah. <laughs> well, we went to the BIOS. We went to the Fedora website and we tried this out and it was like, Immediately, yeah. Immediately it worked. You, didn't, you don't have to do anything, it's basically like what you'll do in, on your normal x86 based PC. So I'll plug it in into the front USB port. Now although my card reader is USB 3 and the front USB is also USB 3, I sadly have a class 6 card. So the boot, process, boot is going to be a bit slower. So what we're going to do is reset and wait for that to happen. Uh, enter the bias and then go to the boot manager and select one of the devices it should boot from and there we go so can go straight into install fedora and we can wait for a few seconds boom boom so what you can see up there that's interesting is that, that the, the number of penguins is supposed to be 24 but the screen res is not that much so it just goes off the screen and it will take a few minutes. Well, well, the, the interesting thing about 24 right is just 24 cores? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One penguin per core. Yeah. yeah. I remember when they showed this uh, during the CEO keynote back in Lenaro Connect and what was that? Uh, San Budapest. San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco. So yeah, back in San Francisco, the CEO uh, keynote, we showcased this board for the first time. It was uh, pretty cool. What does that say at the bottom? Welcome to. You missed it. I'm pretty excited about this one. So you just had this booted up a second ago, but you didn't actually go in, right? No. So we're going to go in. Yeah. All right, we're going to go in. So the thing is, I was so excited to get it up. I ended up downloading a net install image which is quicker to like download and boot. Mm -hmm. So we'll uh, add the Ethernet cable and then we can just boot from there. Nice. Net install from there. The Ethernet cable all over the place, so. Yeah. Ooh, I see a cursor. <laughs> so slow. Speedy. 
So this is so this is this is this is running. It's not. Is it installing it onto no, the hard disk? No. It's literally running right it's, off the SD card. Like, like, oh. Hey. Here you go. So which, which language are you going to fix, Ash? English. Oh, English. That's not going to be interesting enough. Okay. So right now we're going to install the Ethernet or plug in the Ethernet port. Yeah. All right. Choose English United States. Yeah. Okay. Like That's my fate. <laughs> I think each step is going to take a while because of the SD card. No doubt the faster one. Well, and, and the fact you're pulling it off the network as well. Mm. All right, so the Ethernet is connected. Let's go and um, set up a base repository, is it? That's new to me. Uh, that might be because it hasn't been able to get the network. But it does show. No, it's, sh it's showing errors right now in the back. Yeah, hit me on list. Or oh, meta. Try. How much time do we still have left on there? I mean, you can put it for now. I was going to say, stop it for a yeah. sec. <laughs> no, let's keep let's keep it on. Let's show Peter work. Peter, Peter Robinson. No pressure. No Absol pressure. Absolutely not working under pressure here yeah. at all. So right now, live from uh, <laughs> from Hong Kong, coming together at the Naro Connect. Getting Fedora running on the developer box, you know. But still, I mean, watch the installer popped right up. Like, I mean, it's yes. ready to go. It's just, I mean, what we're having some networking issues. Not a big deal. With some gracious help here from Peter, uh, hopefully you got to see him. Uh, we found a mirror list right here, or mirror off the mirror list. Uh, we input this here, uh, and then we switched this up here from HTTP to HTTPS. I will note that if you have network from the outset, this should be automatic. Okay. Um, and we should have probably just had the Ethernet cable plugged in from the outset. <laughs> oh, right when it boots up instead of plugging it in later. <laughs> okay, perfect. So it's all set? Yeah, so it's downloading the package metadata. Yeah. So right here you can see downloading from source, downloading package metadata, um, everything's good. And uh, kind of like what Peter just mentioned right now, right? So what we did is after booting up the dev box, we then plugged in the Ethernet, right? But had the Ethernet cable been plugged in from the get-go, this might not have happened. It would yeah. not have happened. It would not have happened. Absolutely not have happened. <laughs> and in the installation destination, we have our one terabyte hard drive there. And we've just selected automatic partition. So while we're waiting here, I guess we could talk about um, 96 ports a little bit, right? And if uh, you have time, it would be great uh, to visit 96ports.org. Uh, you can go to the Enterprise Edition section or the, uh, con Just there you go. so you can go to the Enterprise Edition section and uh, while uh, it might not be available during the time of the recording of this video, we do definitely hope to have this developer box uh, available on the 96ports.org website as soon as possible. Um, and we will of course provide links to uh, what I'm talking about in the description of the video. So. Check out below for links to the in the description. And then, uh, what? Well, maybe when you get one on your desk, Sahaj, yeah. you'll write some some cool stories and some cool developer experiences. Yeah, they they announced, I think, back what was it in in, uh, in in San Francisco that you can pretty much compile the kernel in in under ten minutes with this yeah. thing. I mean, twenty four cores, one gigahertz per core. That's, that's pretty good. As you can see here, the, the download is finished from the mirror that we selected earlier. Uh, all of the other things seem to be checked, but uh, we want to choose what type of installation we want, right? Yeah, so we'll be going for uh, workstation installation because that gives us a really nice GNOME 3 desktop environment to work with. 
But, but I want to point out here, right, like so if you're looking up here, you can also choose the minimum install. I've been told it's around 400 packages or so. That's the quickest way to get up and running with Fedora, but it is a minimal install. You're most likely going to be working on a command line, right? Completely yeah. command line, no X environment whatsoever. Command line, no desktop. Workstation, probably more fun for yeah. <laughs> those of you who like the flashing colors and... <laughs> more useful for day-to-day -day work as there a you go. More and developer workstation. More user, more right. useful for day-to-day -day mm -hmm. work. I'm just hitting done. Uh, we'll wait for a few seconds. There we go. Checking it's... software dependencies. All right, cool. Well, that's good. Hey, there off we go. go. Wait, oh, let me click you with my finger here. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, all right, so we are installing down here. While it's uh, getting all the package, we can go ahead and set our root. User creation. All right. What Rick, should we Rick 96. No, 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 no. Yeah, Rick 96. I'm just going to. <laughs> password. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That'll be too short. Don't have to. Oh, it says two, but then will it still let you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just yeah. says two I just short. have to click done voice. Okay. So root password is not set. So guess what that's going to be. And like, so I'm sure we'll get some comments saying that why are you using one, two, three, four? It's just a test installation. It's probably going to get overridden. It will get overridden. Yeah, it will get overridden, and someone have, will have a much secure password in place. So don't, you know, don't don't judge us on that password. They're installing Fedora Raw Hard, which is what will become Fedora 29. Um, Fedora 28 is just going into beta, and will basically be the same experience as you see here. We'll support this, or we now support this out of the box on Fedora 28 or Fedora 29. Um, and Fedora 27 should work, but of course you want the latest and greatest anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so we have no extra patches in the kernel for this. This is all vanilla upstream work using UEFI and ACPI. Um, and it, it's nice. And as you can see, you get graphical right from the moment you turn it on right to when shortly the um, once I mean, this is going to be really fast because, you know, conference Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. So we, I, I suspect I'll be sitting here for hours talking to you. I know we said we were going to hopefully show you the actual desktop booting up. However, um, as you can see, uh, it turns out that the network here uh, where we are during this conference is a little overloaded. You know, hundreds of, of people attending Lenaro Connect. But we hope to come back to you with another video some other time showing this all happening with Fedora as well as possibly some other operating systems out there that are just you know seamlessly working with this uh, amazing developer box so we'll include all of the links that we can in the description below yep. we'll include links to the previous videos of course the unboxing and the building uh, instructions that we went through and um, 96 words YouTube uh, subscribe uh, probably more videos coming on this board or many newer boards that have been launched around the 96boards.ai initiative. Uh, we'll link it down to Fedora. They are doing an amazing job with ARM, getting uh, more and more ARM boards into their generic build. Um, and yeah, you have one example in front of you. Yeah, well, one last thing. I'd like to thank Peter here also. Maybe we can uh, say goodbye to Peter real quick for helping us out. Thank you, Peter. All right, coming at you live, or coming at you live from or Hong Kong, um, Lenaro Connect, Lenaro Connect 2018. Yeah, hashtag HKG 2018. Thank you. See you next time.